Hey guys, so one of the updates that came out from the recent announcement made by the Prime Minister Liz Truss was that the cap on the number of foreigners allowed to come into the UK to undertake agricultural work and seasonal work would actually be lifted in order to tackle labour shortages. If you haven't seen the video I made on the recent UK announcement, I will leave that linked in the description box below. But throughout this video, what I'm going to do is I'm first of all going to give you an overview of exactly what the seasonal visa is and isn't. I'm also going to talk you through what the advantages and disadvantages of coming into the UK on this visa actually is. And then I'm also going to run you through what exactly the eligibility and requirements of this visa are so that you can decide whether this is a suitable visa for you to actually use to come into the UK. And finally, I will then be showing you a list of job websites where you can actually go on directly and find some jobs to come into the UK as a seasonal worker. So if you're new to this channel and you haven't already done so, please take the time to give this video a like and make sure you tap that subscribe button and make sure you turn the little notification bell when that goes on. Please do make sure you share this video along to anyone else who you think may be interested in learning more about this information. So let's get right into it then. So for those of you who aren't aware of what the seasonal worker visa is, a seasonal worker visa, also previously known as a tier five visa, is for those who are interested in coming into the UK to do seasonal agricultural work, such as things like farming, picking fruits and vegetables, and such work like that here in the UK. This is a temporary visa that allows you to come into the UK and do seasonal work for a period of up to six months. So let's start with the advantages of coming into the UK on the seasonal worker visa. The first advantage of coming to work in the UK using this visa route is that you actually don't have to pay the immigration healthcare surcharge coming through on this visa okay because it's a temporary visa there is no such requirement like that the second advantage with this visa is that there is no english language requirement okay so you don't have to do a test of your english language to actually be able to apply for this visa route so let's then talk about the disadvantages of coming into the uk on this visa the first disadvantage of coming into the uk on this visa is that you're not actually allowed to come into the uk with your dependents or spouse so that's a big disadvantage if you're looking to come into the uk to bring your family along using this visa route you can't actually do that on this particular visa the second disadvantage with this visa is that it doesn't actually provide you with a route into settlements you can't use this visa route to then go on to apply to be a British citizen or to get indefinite leave okay so this particular visa is actually a temporary worker visa and these are some of the restrictions that you have when you come into the UK on this particular visa another restriction that I did mention earlier on is that you can only come into the UK on this visa for a maximum of six months in any 12 month period okay let's then move on to talk about the eligibility and requirements of this visa if this is a visa you are actually interested in making an application for okay so let's start with the eligibility then of this particular visa the first thing you will note is that you must obviously be over the age of 18 you must have both of the following a certificate of sponsorship reference number from your uk sponsor you must also have enough money to support yourself in the UK. The amount of money you usually need is to have a minimum of at least £1,270 available, okay? Unless, of course, you're in a situation where you're exempt from doing this. So the certificate of sponsorship you usually get from whoever your sponsor is, whoever is sponsoring you to actually come into the UK. So you need to make sure that you actually add this certificate of sponsorship reference number to your visa application form and you can only use it once okay the other thing to bear in mind is that your certificate of sponsorship is valid for three months from the date it is assigned to you okay so let's then talk about the financial uh, bits for this um, particular visa okay so I mentioned earlier that you have to have at least a thousand two hundred and seventy pounds in your bank account this is to show that you can actually financially support yourself during your time here in the UK this is no different this is similar to all the other types of financial requirements that you find across all other types of worker visas okay so you will also need to make sure that you've had this money in your bank account available for at least 28 days in a row, okay? So before you actually apply 
for this visa. In some cases, your sponsor will actually be able to support you with some of the requirements for this visa. If that is the case, then your sponsor will need to actually complete what is known here as a sponsor certifies maintenance section on your actual certificate itself, okay? So let's then talk about the actual requirements of this visa then in terms of what documentation you need to provide if you're planning on actually applying for this visa. So some of the documentations you need to provide, like we mentioned before, is the certificate of sponsorship reference number. You'll also need to have your valid passport or documentation that shows your identity, your nationality. And like we said before, you need to have enough savings in your bank account to show that you can actually support yourself. Okay, so it's quite straightforward, this one. So if you are interested, if you're interested in making an application for this, what I will now do is to show you a list of websites that you can go on to that can, that where you can actually find some seasonal work that can help you actually come into the UK using this visa route. The first website I want to show you then is a site called Concordia. So Concordia, I'm actually on their homepage now, okay? And as you can see, what you wanna do is you wanna basically go into the tab called seasonal work, okay? So there you can see that um, they actually do offer seasonal work and they can actually help with bringing foreign workers into the UK to do seasonal work. So you wanna scroll down this page and basically go where it says apply for seasonal worker visa. On this page, you will then see a list of the steps you need to take in order to get that application for the seasonal worker visa, okay? So simply go onto this page and read what they say. They've also given the relevant contact details depending on what country you're in so that you can contact that agency directly, get in touch with them and uh, discuss the process of actually getting seasonal worker visa through this route and coming to get a job in the UK. Okay, so let's talk about the second website then. So the second website I'm going to be showing you guys is a site called Fruitful Jobs. Okay, so Fruitful Jobs, they do have some great opportunities for workers who are looking to work in the fresh produce sector, the horticultural sector and agricultural industry. And they do source for workers for permanent and seasonal roles across the UK, as you can see here. Um, they will also never charge you to actually find work. The only cost that you will have to pay is cost for your visa, if that's applicable, and for you to travel into the UK itself. Okay, so if you are ever asked to pay anything, then contact them to actually report this. Okay, their email address is given here. So if you're interested in uh, coming to this particular website, I will leave the link on the screen so that you can get access there. What you do want to do is come on to their website and then go to where it says at the very top, where it says um, job seekers. So you wanna to go to where it says job seekers at the very top here, okay? And that will then give you a list of jobs that they have currently on offer. And you just wanna scroll down and see what skills and qualifications. And then also, you know, it will also give you the information of what the closing date is and where to send your relevant CV to. So this is another website that you can actually use to find seasonal agricultural work here in the UK. Let me show you the third website really quickly. So the third website I want to show you is a site called ProForce, okay? So as you can see from the very top, they already say they will never ask you for money for work. And if you do encounter any such things, do make sure you report it to them directly on the email address that they've stated here. Okay, so you don't actually need to make any payments to uh, get work with this particular agency. So if you just scroll down on the home page, you can see that they have different um, segments of uh, seasonal work that they offer. So depending on which one you're interested in, just click directly if it's horticultural, if it's food production or meat and poultry or driving, you just need to click in there. So if we go into agriculture, for instance,
So on the agricultural page, you can see right there that they tell you what the working hours are about and how much you can expect to earn and what the opportunity is. Roughly, they're saying that you can typically expect to earn between £420 to £500 per week. If you work a lot, you can probably earn something in the range of £800. Okay, so they're also saying that there's a lot of flexibility in the days that you can actually choose to work. So if you choose to work full time or if you only want to work a couple of days per week, then that's also fine with them. Okay, so if you go straight down on this page, you will then see where it gives you the option to click here to apply. So if you simply click there, you can see that that takes you directly to the job search page. Okay, so you just enter your keyword, put in the category depending on what you're interested in, the relevant location, and then search. Okay, so one thing I want to note with this particular uh, website is that if you're applying from outside the UK and require a visa, you need to check out their Facebook pages below, as they've said here, okay? And also make sure you contact them directly to actually let them know that you are coming from outside the UK. Their contact details are directly below at the bottom of the page right here. Okay, so that leads me on to farminguk.com. Farminguk.com is another website where you can get farming jobs in particular. So when you get onto their homepage, you just need to go on the tab and then scroll down to where it says jobs. Once you get there, you can then basically put in what area in the UK you want, what job role you want. Simply scroll down and you can see that already down the list, they provide a full list of different types of jobs that you can get here in the UK, okay? So if you are interested, do go ahead and uh, use this website to look for any kind of farming related jobs that you are interested in. So if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a like and make sure that you're subscribed and turn on your notifications if you want similar videos like this. Thank you.